Space weather this week picks up a bit compared to last week. Taking a look at our Earth-facing disk, you can see there's a lot more active regions in Earth view this week. They've all rotated in from the far side of the sun or they're beginning to emerge. And on top of that, we're seeing more solar storm activity as well. In fact, on the 9th, we actually had two eruptions. We had one on the west limb in the north and then a more energetic one that launched in the south. Both of these solar storms are going to go mainly west of Earth, but we could get a glancing blow starting around the 12th and possibly into the 13th. But the bigger story, though, is the filament eruption that occurred uh, on the 10th. This one was kind of a soft, wispy solar storm eruption, but it definitely looks like it's going to be Earth-directed, possibly a, a direct hit. Ha Sadly, we don't have coronagraph observations right now to lock down the impact time, but it looks like it'll be sometime around the 14th. So aurora photographers at high latitudes could definitely get a show. Doubt it's going to get uh, a, to be a big enough storm to cause issues down uh, at mid-latitudes, but we just never know. Meanwhile, we also have a few big flare players on the Earth-facing disk, so uh, big uh, radio blackouts are definitely still on the menu, and we have some new regions rotating into Earth view from the far side. In fact, as we take a look at stereo, this is our far side monitor, uh, stereo A, and it's looking at the sun just a tiny bit from the side. You can see the regions in the on the east limb, especially one in the south, this region is going to be rotating into Earth view over the next day or two, and it has definitely launched a few minor solar storms, it looks like, and it could actually be a big flare player. So definitely going to have decent solar flux risen and definitely going to have radio blackouts remain on the menu for this upcoming week. For more details on this week's space weather, including how these big flare players could affect space traffic and radio comms, come check out my channel or see me at spaceweatherwoman.com.